Welcome to Lesson 6, Graph Linear Inequalities. So we're doing some graphing again, and graphing linear inequalities is very, very similar to graphing our linear equations. So here's our steps to graph. These will make more sense when we actually do an example. The first one is we're going to graph our inequalities, our greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, we're going to graph them like they are an equal sign in slope-intercept form. Or if they're vertical horizontal, we'll graph them like we do. And we're going to just pretend that our inequality sign is an equal sign when we graph. Step two is to test coordinates in a half plane. I'll go over that in a second. And step three is to shade the appropriate side that is true. And again, I'll go over that when we do an example. Right now, I just want to make sure that you have this stuff written down for you to reference. Okay, so let's do an example. Here we have y is greater than x plus 3. So step 1, we're j I'm just going to rewrite it and pretend that it's y equals x plus 3. So, we're going to graph it like we would at slope-intercept form. So we go up to 3, and we put our dot. Then our slope is 1 over 1. So we go up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. Now here's where there is a difference. This is where we need to look at the inequality when we start to actually graph the line. Think about these two whenever you graphed on a number line. What kind of line was it? Well, it was an open dot. I mean, what kind of dot is it? It's open dot. Well, if you see a less than or greater to, you're going to have a dotted line. If it's a less than or equal to or a greater than or equal to, it's a closed line. So we have a less than, so we're going to draw a dotted line and then we're going to put arrows on it like normal All right. step two is to test when I say test what I mean is that we're going to be looking for where do all these solutions lie unlike our equations these inequalities solutions aren't just on the line their solutions are either going to be on this side of the line or this side of the line. So we have to see which one it is. To do that, we pick a point on one side and see if it's true or not. Generally, you want to pick this point right here. Normally, you want to pick 0, 0 because it's the easiest to see. So what we do is we just put test 0, 0 then you rewrite your original inequality. So y is greater than x plus 3. And what we do is we plug in 0 for x and 0 for y and see what happens. So we get 0 greater than 0 plus 3. Well, 0 plus 3 is 3. And then we look and see, is this true or false? If it's true, we shade the same side. If it's false, we shade the other side. And this is the side that has the point that we're testing. So is 0 greater than 3? That's false. So we're going to shade the other side. So that means 0, 0 is on the right, so we're going to shade this. So that tells us that all of our answers are over here. And that's how you graph a linear inequality. So here's one for you to try on your own. Now you'll notice that it's not in slope-intercept form, so you're going to have to put it in slope-intercept form. But go ahead, do that, and then follow the steps that you saw in the previous example. So go ahead, pause the video, and try that with your group now. Okay, 
So we need to divide by negative 3. And when we divide by negative 3, we have to divide everything by negative 3. So we get y, but we divide it by a negative. So our inequality flips. So make sure you flip that inequality. Negative 2 over 3x. Two negatives make a positive, so let's say that's plus 2 over 3. Alright, now we're going to do step 1. We're going to pretend like it's an equal sign. So we're going to pretend it's y equals negative 2 over 3x plus 2 thirds. So that means we're going to go to plus 2 over 3, which is somewhere in here. And then we're going to go down 2, right 3. So we're going to go down 2, so 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. And then we look, and it's an equal to, so that means we have a solid line. Oops, I didn't mean to have the eraser. So it's a solid line. So let's make sure the line goes all the way across. So step two is to test. Now, remember, we want to test 0, 0 if we can. The only reason we could not test 0, 0 is if the line is actually on 0, 0. If the line is on 0, 0, you can't test it. But as we can see, our line is not. So we can test it. So we take our y less than or equal to negative 2 over 3x plus 2 over 3. Plug in zeros, we get 0 less than or equal to negative 2 over 3 times 0 plus 2 over 3. Well, we know anything times 0 is 0, so this goes away. So what we have left is 0 is less than or equal to 2 over 3. Now, is this true or false? It's true. And if it's true, we test the same side as our point. So we look and see where 0, 0 is. It's over here. So we shade this entire side. Okay. Next we have x is greater than negative 3, so this is going to be a vertical line. So I want you to go ahead, pause the video and graph this using all the steps from before. And here is the solution to the example. We see that when we tested 0, 0, we got it was true, so we shaded the same side. So go ahead, pause the video, and look over this with your group before we go to the next example. And the final example is y is less than or equal to 1. So go ahead and pause the video and graph this inequality. Alright, so we did get y equals 1. We tested 0, 0, and we got that it was true. So go ahead, review this example with your group, pausing the video, and then when you're done, you're done with this lesson.